Hey YouTube, my name's Paul Lorenz and today I wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to keep your skis parallel. This is a tutorial for intermediates, but I do see advanced skiers out on the slope still making a bit of a stem or a snow plow at the start of their turn. So um, here's a quick progression that you can practice any time that will keep your skis parallel all the time. Before we get started, if you like tutorials like this, please visit the Projected Productions website where there are hours of video tutorials on how to ski with progressions, exercises and drills from some of the best skiers in the world. So there's a couple of really important things we need to do to make sure the skis stay parallel and we're going to focus on just one of them today. So it's very easy when you're turning at the end of the turn to release one edge, what will become the outside ski, but you can see that already creates a snowplow position. So we're really going to focus on this one, which is the new inside ski, because that's the one that has to release so that we can turn both of them parallel. So let's start in parallel standing across the hill to get a feeling of releasing the new inside ski or the downhill ski's edge. Place your pole on the outside of the foot, which is down the hill, and have it run up the outside of your leg so that it touches the outside of your knee. From this point, you can press your knee against the pole. You will need to roll your foot as well or feel like you're lifting the arch of your foot and pressing down on the little pinky toe. Um, as you start to bend the pole with your knee, you'll start to feel some muscles engaged to do that. If you do it a few times or even hold it against the pole, trying to bend the pole for 5 or 10 seconds, then you'll really start to feel some muscles engaging. So this is the movement we need to do to release that edge. So let's try this in some practice while we're moving now. So it's important that when you do this that you spend a little bit longer going across the hill and have patience starting the turn. When you're doing this, really focus on the downhill or the new inside foot so that it rolls or the arch lifts first and the muscles that we identified before to move the knee down the hill. Those are the parts of the body you want to focus on to make sure that that edge releases. As you get the hang of this, it'll make it much easier to release both skis at the same time and also turn both skis to stay parallel. One last thing that'll help is that you balance on at least both feet, if not the uphill ski, which will become the outside ski. Taking weight off the foot that you're trying to release or roll will make it a lot easier. So that's it. This is something that I see a lot of advanced skiers struggle with as well. And even at a high performance, it's important whether you're releasing the edges or even changing edges that both skis do the same thing at the same time. So this is something you can practice on cat tracks or standing still, even the advanced skier. So I hope this is something that will help your skiing and you've understood and I hope to see you out there practicing. Thanks.